All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're in for an adventure today, a place I've never fished, never been to. Actually, didn't even find that Google map. Just driving around one day and I came across it and I said, huh, there's a bunch of lakes back here in this industrial park. And uh, I guess I just picked the biggest one. I don't even know where the lake's at. I'm still looking for it. Yeah, there it is. So there we go. I had no idea what to expect. Like I said, never fished here. Never, I don't know anything about this lake. It doesn't look like with the pandemic, there's a Charles Schwab building, but it doesn't look like it's been cut all year. I don't know how deep, I don't know anything. So, I don't even know if you could cast in this stuff, guys. Some shallow, shallow pockets, but I don't know. Might be more difficult than I thought, but there's a bunch of lakes around here. So we might actually be able to. Yeah, see, I don't even know if we'll be able to fish around here. So I'm just gonna try. Guys, like I said, never been here. Break down a new lake. So this might be a little bit more difficult than what I thought. We gotta actually get a cast out there first. See if I can find spots that I can actually cast. Broke off some line. Wind's coming in. I kind of like this. It's kind of deep. I don't know if I can really cast. All right. Wind coming in. There's a lot of hydro I can see. I can see uh, quite a bit of hydro. I'm gonna have to rip this thing. I need to see all the hydro. All right, so never fished here before. First thing is kind of looking at it. I mean, I can just see some of the hydro. It's kind of coming. I mean, it's it, it, it's. In order for me to rip a something like this across this pond and go through, it's gonna be very difficult um, to go through. So, yeah, see, it, it, it's that I feel is, yeah, I could be able to rip anything through that. So, I'm breaking down the lake first time, don't know anything about it. Never seen it before, never been close to it before, I've seen it from the road. So first thing I realized, ton of hydrilla. Game plan of throwing a rattling trap. I was out the door. I think it's too cold to throw a top water. It might not actually be that bad with this hydrilla. Something going over the top of it. Swim jig. I can find just a maybe a quick top wire. Like I said, if I could go through quickly, Let's see if there's any fish in here. I didn't see anything, but I'm not actually looking. Not really actually looking at a ton of fish. I'm just looking at only one top water I'm using. You guessed it, a whopper whopper. This cattails up so high. Yeah, I'm just looking around the lake and trying to find some points that I can actually go fish. It would be productive, a little bit more productive. So I just put a whopper plopper on. I just thought maybe I'd try a couple quick casts just over these hydrilla uh, beds just to see if I could get something to bite on it. This is the purest fishing. Fishing someplace. Never fished before, never saw before, and trying to figure it out. And uh, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but. 
know if I could get over there or not. Let's try. Some dude at some point. Somebody's fished here before I tell you that. Oh crap! Ah oh, dude. Oh man. This guy stepped right in this crap. Man, that's wet. Dude, that's nasty wet. This is done. It's not what I expected. There's a bass. Is that a bass? Caught him right there. I knew it. I said, Is there a bass? I said, Is there a bass sitting right on that bank? And I seen him moving. Came right up there and hit it. Guys, first time ever fishing here. And that thing was just sitting right there. I'm like, Oh my gosh. Dude, that was awesome, man. Guys, just came back. Whopper plopper. Sitting right on that bank. That's what I wanted to do. Dude, look at that. Guys, that is eating crawfish right there. The red lips down. I mean, he's, it's not that bad of a fish. But just uh, came back. I said, look, is that a fish? I don't really have glass. Put him back. And I said, man, that's not a bad one. Probably a little bit over, maybe a pound, close to a pound. Skinny little thing. He's eating off the bottom, man. He's eating off that bottom. Guys, I mean, I'm not, uh, I was out. And I'm like, I think that's a fish, a lawn. And I see him turn. I'm like, he's going to come and hit that. Number two. Bring it in, boys. Number two. Woo! The biggest one of the year. Probably the biggest one of my life. PB, bro. PB. All right. A little chunk. Dude, look at that. That second one of the day off of a whopper popper. That thing crushed that thing. I think that whopper plopper. Let's see what. Ah, he's poking. So let's see what's bigger. The whopper. Some sharp, tight, sharp hooks, bro. What's bigger? The whopper plopper or that? Unreal. I can't believe that thing hit that. Huh. There you go. Number, number two. World record. Go back in and get bigger. Somebody was hungry. All right, number two. Fire him up, bruh. 
what it's all about right there. Get it done, son. Catching mondos. Mondo. First big mondo of the day. Of the year. Forget the day. The year. You guys probably dream about catching big ones like that. I feel like I was in down in Mexico or something. So it's just coming out of that hydrilla. Something hit it. Lightly. Something's popping it. Oh man, that's a big one, dude. dude that's a big one. Dude, that's a big one. Alright guys, recap. I didn't quite fish as much as I wanted to, as much time as I wanted to, but got to see a new lake, got to break it down. Uh, next time I come, I'll definitely have a better idea of what I want to do. Um, but, you know, supposedly catch anything on a, on a swim jig, to be honest with you. I mean, I had a bunch of hits with the, with the whopper plopper. Um, but you know how I broke down this lake? Again, I didn't use Google Maps to, to find this place. I know a lot of people do, which is awesome. Um, but I just ended up using, uh, just drove by it one day. I think it just got lost and just said, oh man, we gotta check this out. So I went on Google Map and took a look, better look at it. And there's actually a bunch of lakes. I wanna go, just wanna get out of here a little, get out of here and I wanna go check out the other lakes. I won't fish them, I just wanna take a look at them. Um, but just breaking down the lake, you know, I, I started off with a ripless, lipless crankbait trying to um, see what, you know, again, depths, that type of stuff of the lake, um, cover, you know, what was on the bottom, that, that type of stuff. Um, obviously, as you guys could probably see, uh, this place is just covered with hydrilla uh, grass. So, um, threw that out like maybe like five, six times, and that's it, I'm done. Went over to a, you know, swim, uh, swim bait. You know, obviously, again, with the hydrilla, that didn't work. Decided to go with whopper plopper and a uh just a swim jig it's just something to, to, to get me through this hydrilla swim jig tell you what thing, a swim jig i don't fish a lot of hydrilla but you want to talk about a a, a bait that really just goes through this grass is it's a cliff pace you know the swim jig from cliff pace and i haven't pulled up really any any uh i haven't picked up any hydrilla getting stuck on any hydrilla um, last cast. But I figured that I, I could probably cover a lake probably with those, those two, uh, you know, something that I could kind of just make cut through this hydrilla and another one just on top of the water. I figured I, I, I could probably make my way around this lake pretty. But uh, that's how I broke it down. New hydrilla, you know, I wasn't gonna waste a lot of time. You know, for, for me, if I see something like hydrilla or something like that, I'm always gonna go on with the top water just because I, I know the top water is not gonna get stuck. I could work a lake, um, you know, I could probably find them. I, I could cast a whopper popper a mile um, and you know work my way through through a lake, even though this is, as you could as you see, really not a lot of spots to fish from, a lot of spots that you can't get to uh, just because of the, I mean, I'm going through so much hydrilla now with this, with this swim thing, just bringing a rock and they boom, 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 just going through. I just can't believe it didn't trigger anything. Had the Mandu. Comment below if, if you uh, have caught anything bigger than that this year. My big Mandu. I'm gonna give a, a major giveaway at some point this year. Um, gonna give away, see my videos, the Garmin, uh, Striker Caster, um, Cast Strike Caster. I'm gonna give that away. I'm gonna give a brand new one, uh, brand new uh, Deeper Pro, uh, some swim baits, uh, cliff pace, swim jigs, a whole whole slew of different baits, uh, I'd piece them up together. Um, obviously you just won't get one piece of lure. Um, I got a bunch of uh, lipless crankbaits I'm gonna give away. So the goal, way, the goal is to get to 50. I'm gonna get to 50. As soon as I get to 50 uh, subs, big huge giveaway, um, at least a couple hundred dollars of, of giveaways. Um, again, uh, Deeper Pro, uh, the Garmin Striker. You know, again, those are definitely over uh, you know, good couple hundred bucks, brand new. Um, just they're not gonna. So again, like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it.
Um, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, got a kit 50. Yeah, we're going to give uh, major giveaways. So the goal is that by the end of uh, June uh, is to have a to get to 50. That's the goal. Um, so again, hit the like and subscribe. First time you ever seen the video. Um, you know, tell your friends. You know, uh, comment below if you if you caught a bigger fish than than that mondo I caught today so far this year. I highly doubt it, but.